don't hear you counting. Three, four, five, six. Good try. Good try? That was horrible, Matt. Come on. I'm paying you to make me hot again. Whip me into shape and prolong this death thing as long as possible. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. What did you say? No, seriously. I didn't hear you. Oh my god, I'm going deaf. I'm going deaf. My entire body is falling apart. Oh god. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Wa water. Give me some water. Faster. Deep breaths. <sighs> If you're so anxious not to be dead, why don't you just have a vampire turn you? I tried that. Every time I ingest vampire blood, my body rejects it. Oh. Who is that? I can't see. It's Nadia. I told you you were here. Except to be alone. Dear Nadia. Sorry I had to kill your boyfriend, but it was the motherly thing to do. Suicide, however, not very motherly of me. Great, so, um, Stefan obviously gave you my suicide note. What's your point? Damn! That's for trying to kill yourself without saying goodbye. Do you want to give me a little backstory as to how you know one another? Aaron is Aaron Whitmore, and he comes from a very long line of vampire-probing, blood-testing, organ-removing freaks called Augustine. Why do you know this? Because I was their test subject in the 50s. What do you mean, test subject? Meaning I donated my body to science, except I was alive, and it was against my will. Wait, hold on a minute. How do I not know about this? <sighs> Don't get all guilt-ridden, Stefan, on me. We were on the outs back then. And by the time it was over, you know, it was over. Why don't you finish the rest of the story, Damon? I don't recall saying that you could talk. Did I say that he could talk? I don't remember anything. I didn't think so. I get it now. If I was living here, I'd want to kill myself too. It was a moment of weakness. I'm over it. In a moment of weakness, you eat chocolate or kiss the wrong boy. You don't jump off a clock tower. Do you see this? This is rock hell. In what universe would I put this inside of my body unless I actually wanted to live another day? Okay. Then what changed your mind? It's not so much a matter of what as it is who. Can I ask you something? Absentee mother to mildly abusive daughter? I'm listening. Do you think, after all the horrible things that I've done, be possible to be forgiven? Of course I do. That's actually why I'm here. I may have an idea that will keep you alive longer. I'm listening. <laughs> <laughs>